All right, welcome to WIN Small Scale and Local Systems, uh, Part 2. Uh, this is ESCI 211. This is Chapter 9. All right, so let's get started. After watching this online lecture, you should have a better idea of the friction processes in the atmosphere, these things that we call eddies. Um, winds effects on the Earth's surface and winds effects on water waves. So let's get started. All right, so there are two types of flow as the air uh, goes through the area, uh, goes through the atmosphere, and one of them is called laminar flow. And basically what happens here is the flow of the air follow these nice fluid streamlines. Okay, nice and fluid streamlines. Um, so uh, the air glides horizontally and smoothly around any barrier, and we call this laminar flow. Basically, there's no eddies or no mixing. Now, the other type is turbulent flow, and the air does not glide horizontally and smoothly. It, we have eddies and we have lots of mixing. So um, uh, we create these mechanical entities because of obstructions that are on the surface of the earth. So we can create some unstable air by a strong flow going over a house, as we see here, and then we create these eddies on, on the leeward side of the house. And then it, this mixes the air and creates unstable air. All right, so an important uh, property of uh, this friction is something called viscosity. And so if you divide our, our, our wind flowing into different individual layers, the friction of these individual layers with the layers above or below it is referred to as v viscosity, right? And you can also have eddy viscosity. So it's friction caused by eddies in the fluid. And uh, basically you have this friction layer or a planetary layer um, that exists in the atmosphere. It's about a thousand meters from the surface up and the, uh, this is the layer of the atmosphere that gets influenced by the friction of the stuff that's on the surface or the things that cause uh, eddies to form. So um, what produces these eddies is what's called surface heating um, is a one cause of turbulence. Um, it can also help uh, it to extend to greater uh, altitudes. This is called thermal turbulence. Major influences of the mixing and the friction layer are surface heating. Basically it produces a steep lapse rate and you get a strong thermal turbulence. Strong wind speeds produce strong mechanical turbulent motions. And rough or hilly landscapes produce strong mechanical turbulent motions. All right, so here's an eddy produced by a mountain. If you look at it, here's the mountain right here sticking above the cloud layer. And as the wind blows the clouds by, you get these turbulent eddies in the clouds, mixing the material in the atmosphere. All right, more examples of eddies. So wind shear is an eddy, and the wind shear is the sudden change in wind speed and direction along a mixing zone. Um, also clear air turbulence is eddies formed in clear air. And what are called rollers or, or, or rolling roll eddies, rotors or roll eddies. Um, they're formed downwind of obstacles uh, and they're produced in waves. These give you violent vertical motion and you also get these uh, on the leeward side of mountains and we call them mountain wave eddies. 
All right, so here's an example of this type of eddies. You get the airflow over the mountain and you get these eddies forming on the leeward side. And these are what are called the rollers. And they roll, they move with the wind as it goes this way. And these cause mixing in the atmosphere. All right, uh, wind's effects on the surface of the earth. So you can have wind and exposed soil can create sand dunes and sand ripples. So you can see some sand ripples here and some sand dunes here. They can also, a wind and snow surface can also create these snow rollers. This roll of snow is caused by wind moving the air and it's a pretty good size, about the size of a suntan lotion bottle. Um, you can also get wind and vegetation. Um, you can get these wind, wind sculptured trees here. And we use sh shelter belts here. So you would get this line of trees by a farm field here. And this is designed to try to sh uh, cause a windbreak to reduce the wind on the field and reduce the um, uh, mixing Basically, the wind will transfer, the energy transfer to the waves depends on three factors. Um, one, the wind speed. Two, the length of time the wind blows over the water. And the fetch or distance or depth of water at which the wind blows. So here's an example of uh, wind creating waves. The, the air has to flow over the water wave. And again, you get this eddy forming here and it will force the, part of the water up here and force the water down here and you get the wave motion and the wave wants to move this way across the water. So um, learning objectives for today, I hope you have a better understanding of the friction processes in the atmosphere and uh, winds effects on the earth's surface so you can get sand dunes and sand ripples and uh, snow rollers or um, wind sculpture trees and hope you have a better understanding how wind can affect water waves and how that if wind blows over water it can produce waves and that's all I have for you in part two. I'll see you in part three.